As a clarification, the alpha Laval load cell system operates in metric. In other words, it operates in kilograms. Now in the United States, we measure in pounds. So for ease of communication today, we're going to be talking about pounds. But remember, and when you're doing your calibration, the numbers on your load cell system are measuring, measuring in kilograms. Remember this. 2.2 pounds per kilogram. So if you have 1,000 kilograms, that equals 2,200 pounds. Now let's talk about what, why we zero and why we calibrate. If this is your load cell on your tank, your tank has weight, it's made of metal, you have agitators, you have static loads that set on those load cells. You don't want to measure those, so you want to zero those out. That's why we zero. So when we zero, you take, you're negating your tank and agitators and anything else that you don't want to measure. So once all that stuff's on there, there's no fluid in the tank, your load cell measures 2,000 pounds, you hit zero, it's just like tearing out a scale in a shipping department. That's what zero is. Now, calibration, on the other hand, is different. Calibration is letting the system know what real weight is. Every load cell system has to be calibrated, including this one. The difference is our load cell system has to be calibrated one time, whereas others are recalibrated many, many times in their lifetime. The reason for this is all these lines and connections to this tank affect the way it measures. They're going to give resistance to those load cells. So we want to try and best we can take that resistance out. Because a traditional load cell system or analog load cell measures in a curve and our system measures in a line, our calibration is very, very simple. We won't go into how complex theirs is, but let's talk about how simple ours is. If we look at this and we say we have an actual load and we have a load we want measured. What we want to do is we want to put weight, known weight, in the tank. You don't have to calibrate it all the way to the full level like some other load cells would. We need to probably put about 50 percent of the total weight. So if you have a 5,000 pound maximum weight for your tank, you want to put about 2,500 pounds in it. But we want to do that progressively. So we may put 1,000 pounds and then 1,800 pounds. Pick two or three, maybe four spots between there and add that weight. And then look, when you add that known weight, look at what your load cell system says. This is after you've zeroed. Most of the time, this is going to be a straight line. The reasons it may not be a straight line is if you have some loads, some resistance on the tank that are causing different resistance, and that's what we want to know. At some point, you'll find through these dots, you'll find that you have a line <coughs> that runs basically through the center of those. What I advise is if it's fairly close, you pick your 50% weight. So let's say at 50% or 2,500 pounds, we know we have 2,500 pounds in the tank, and our load cell says, well, you only have 2,460 pounds in the tank. Somewhere there's a line lifting up on the thing worth 40 pounds. That's what we're trying to calibrate out. It's that simple. So very simply, with that 2,500 fixed pounds in the tank, you go to calibrate, and you enter, it will say it's currently at 2,460, and you say, nope, it's at 2,500. System now knows, oh, that is my calibration factor. And if, in effect, what it does then is, is it moves this line or changes the angle of that line to match that. Now, everything along it is more accurate. That's as simple as calibration is.